Hello, Active Sage here on the Sage channel, and today, as per usual, on a Tuesday, Medieval Engineers has received an update. Sorry if this video is a bit late, it took me a while to put everything I want to together for this update. Now, this update hasn't added too much, but what they have added, as is evident by the small town, or yeah, at least maybe big town, small city, that you see in front of you, is it actually allows for a lot of possibilities. Now, to show this off, just real quick, I'm going to have a reminder here that, remember last week, they added the large tower blocks here, all the blocks you need to make a large tower, such as these here, and of course, the floor pieces, of course, that we had to fill these gaps in are all now, of course, useful, as well as all the small wall pieces and everything. And continuing on with that, this week's update has added the equivalent of these two blocks right here to the game, as well as the equivalent of this roof block to the game. Now, if you go ahead and press G on your keyboard, you'll notice that there are an assortment of new blocks right on these two rows. You got your stone platform round large, which is the equivalent of the normal little buttresses sticking out, and then you have these two blocks here. One of them is the stone battlement round large side. What a mouthful. That's the one from last week, but then you have the stone battlement round large center. I'd expect it to be centered because it's sort of centered on the outcropping piece, but I'll go ahead and show you guys those. So here we go. Here's the first one. As per usual with last week's update, you can go ahead and flip your mouse and it'll switch between two mirrored pieces of it. So we go ahead and press one here, go over to the next, and can't really find a proper position for it, but if we flip it over using the mouse scroll, there's the correct one, pressing Alt, we can place it in, and there you go. So you got everything you need to build these correctly. And so there we go, now that I got the whole thing, we can go ahead and switch to the proper piece we need, the center one, and we can place all those around here, building out the same thing. And there you go, that's some of the basic things from this update. Now, of course, this might not seem like much, but you can, of course, mix this in with all the standard little sticky-outy buttress bits that we've had in the past and all these other centered little battlements to create all sorts of different shapes with this, not just rounded towers, but structures that have maybe one rounded corner or side. And then moving on, we have these new roof pieces. Now, the way you access them, it's pretty simple. You just use your normal roof tile block. And we can go ahead, so switch to that. We'll use our mouse scroll downwards once, and there you go, we have it. So we can once again go ahead and build this out. Now once we get to this point, use our mouse scroll, we'll flip it to the mirrored piece, just like we did with the other one, holding Alt now, and place it in. So there you go. And there's, of course, two possibilities for capping this off. One is the pretty simple mouse scroll wheel till we get the small original rounded ceiling piece right here, or, sorry, roof piece and go ahead and place that in, and the other one is the normal pointy one that they have. Now, I sort of expect that in the future we're going to have a lot more roof pieces that are going to be as slanted as these, and maybe we'll get a slanted roof piece that takes up around the same amount of space as that, but it's too high, that way we can have really, really large slanted roofs, but that might not be realistic, so who knows. If nothing else, though, I suspect if they do that, it'll be all under just that same little roof piece right there that'll be all the high spiked roofs. Anyway, moving on, I just have a bunch of buildings here to show you guys for this update. This show everything you can do, everything from, well, just like that, except for it's a tower in its own right with a small base, a wooden sticking out outcrop there, because I found that if I was to actually use the proper little buttressed things here and place these in here, oh, it seems to not be doing it now, but earlier in my tests, these structures were destroying themselves whenever I put these in. Yes, they're, they're not doing it now. Let's see if it works at the taller tower. It's working. Smaller tower, are you working here now? Oh, there we go. So as you can see, sometimes it's for some odd reason, destroys itself pretty much. As you can see from these towers here where I placed them in, they just destroyed fragments of themselves, including this one here. I have a feeling it's going to... Yep, there it goes. So don't quite know why, but they seem to destroy themselves. It makes sense that way they would destroy themselves, but not when I put more support in. It makes sense that I would have done so before I put more support in, since I do just have wood sticking out to that. Moving on over here, you do have, of course, the opportunity, instead of just capping the roof, to continue a tower out of the top. I do suggest putting stone supports inside, as you can see here I have a stone tower heading all the way up the center that way this tower isn't just putting all of its weight on this roof because you can almost guarantee that it'll collapse as I mentioned earlier you can of course use these roof pieces in conjunction with standard wall pieces to make a large building with a slightly different shape and then using what we use for that tower of course we have it bumped up and moving on over here here's something I don't suggest doing I use those large one block solid pieces to make the outer ring here, because originally I was figuring, hey, I need to have these supports here, 
everything is heaps breaking, so I tried to come up with something else that might add more support to the floor before I just used wood, and yeah, that didn't go too well, but they were interesting enough to keep. Oh, and here's one that I did actually try to put those little support pieces on, and it crumbled. How fun. Yeah, so you can see lots and lots of different designs and shapes, everything from the wooden floors with two stories. This is just the interior of that structure we just were flying into to towers like this where you have a huge, huge roof built using the new roof pieces. The, as again, these two pieces right here that we can scroll between, this one here and this one here, used to make each of these corners, followed by a small standard slanted roof piece, followed by just these standard capping pieces, these little guys right here. So all pretty, ooh, that's not the right one, all pretty simple and straightforward stuff there. And then we just have another tower merged into it. And again, something different on the top. Bunches and bunches of different ways to show this off, everything from just a little bit of a mini tower here for show, merged into a rather large structure here. All sorts of different stuff to show off in this world that uh, I just thought might be interesting to show all the different possibilities from an otherwise simple update with you know, not too much to it, you know, just a few new blocks, but it does allow you to have a pretty damn large new field of possibilities. And of course you can do the old fashioned way of just putting wood at the top and sort of capping it off with a flat top. Anyway guys, that's it for this update. It's pretty nice stuff. It's, uh, yeah, a lot of different stuff. If you'd like to go ahead and download this world and take a look yourself, please feel free to do so. It should be up on my Steam Workshop page either tonight or tomorrow. And yeah, go ahead, download it, check it out, copy the buildings into your own world if you like them, or of course, just take inspiration from them. And by the way, you can also do stuff like this where you use the good old fashioned, I believe they're called buttresses, sticking out. And yeah, have yourself a little balcony, even one that's almost sunk into the original new roofs that you have sticking around. And this actually took a lot of work of holding alt and deleting the roof pieces out were still remaining. Please be wary sometimes if you try to delete these roof, new roof pieces, you do end up with some weird scraggly pieces remaining like that. Can be problematic, so just be wary. Where you probably want to put those in first before you do any other roofing pieces because they'll be a bit finicky sometimes. Anyway, guys, that's it. Thanks so much for watching, and there'll be a link in the description down below if you'd like to download this world uh, if it's up tonight. If not, well, there'll be a coming soon thing. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you guys next time. Oh, dear God, I've, I've dropped my character wherever he was. Did I leave him in here? No. No, I didn't leave him in the control. I left him out in the middle of the yard. All right. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I shall see you guys next time. Ta-ta! <laughs> Finally! A video complete. Now I can take the rocket and fire the rockets! Fire the rockets! Oh god, that one hit me in the face. Wow. Didn't expect that to happen. Nope. <laughs> nope, didn't, didn't, uh... Yeah. Did not expect that. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's some slowdown for you.